The current site scope is running on HTTP and port 443. And we need to configure HTTP to be HTTPS, in fact. So let's do just that. The way to do it, just go to disk C, site scope tools, SSL, double click the SSL tool.bat, and you have a choice. Configure site scope to use SSL with self signed certificate or with a certificate from a certificate authority. Now, a little bit of a uh, uh, need to know thing that you need to know. <laughs> Configuring SiteScope to use SSL with certificate from a certificate authority is not the nicest procedure to follow. And I actually recommend to go directly to the, the server configuration on the file level of the HTTPD con for some, or server XML level and do it there. But we are going to do the configure site scope to use this all with a self sign. So we choose number one and enter a password, the key store. So it creates a key store from scratch. We're going to use this. And then this is the important part. One of the integrations the site scope requires needs uh, an exact URL or exact domain name. Uh, of the site scope host. If you issue it for something that a little bit deviates, even a little bit, or something that uses a wildcard, site scope would accept it and it would work. And some integrations would work, but uh, one of the data integrations would not work uh, when it goes directly to OMI. And I think, if I remember correctly, it, it, we are talking about the monitoring automation, so basically deploying policies to site scope from uh, OBM. So that thing wouldn't work if the certificates are not matching. So we will make sure that the certificate is issued to a proper authority. OK, and then we press any key. We will go to services. And site scope we will just restart. We will go into the browser and go on the localhost 8443. 8443. Let's see how it responds to us. Yes, there we go. So there's our site scope in the browser. And we are allowing it to run in the browser. Okay, very good. So site scope is now secured, although the port is incorrect. So I would like to revert it to a correct port, or it is correct for me. So it's going to be 443. I'm going to save it. I'm going to restart site scope. Go with stopping. We'll be starting any second now. There we go, it's starting. So now we just need to test it once it started. So basically when it started, you need to let it another, let it go, work on it another 10 or 20 seconds. And then it becomes running properly. Okay, cool. So let's give it a try. We'll remove the port and give it a try. Okay, so we need to accept the certificate exception once more. Okay, now I think it's a little bit confused about the whole certificate, but uh, still, it looks like it's working. So that concludes the SiteScope certificate with a uh, certificate, with a self-signed certificate. Now, of course, there is there is more trickery that you can do. For example, key store, you can uh, use SSL, and instead of key store, you can use directly the uh, uh, SS, uh, the CRT and key files or something. And you can borrow this setting from other products, but uh, this should be doing it all right. And yeah, and for us, everything works. Must time for it. Okay, so. Local.
post go for it continue there we go there's our site scope fantastic thanks for watching